In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the deck belt on this style Cub Cadet tractor. Coming up, right now. Hello everybody, Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video to help you fix various things. Today I'm going to show you how to change the deck belt on this Cub Cadet XT1. It's a 50 inch model. It's three blades, alright, uh, so let's dive right in. Alright, here we go. Obviously the first thing you're going to need to do is get these uh, belt covers off. And I'm only going to show taking this side off. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. It's just three bolts, easy to get to. Uh, three eighths head on there, no problem. All right, uh, so if your belt is still intact and it's just wore out or slipping, you'll need to do this step. Obviously, if your belt broke, um, this won't be an issue at all. But uh, in order to get this belt off of there, you got to relieve the tension on the idler right here. So I got this uh, strap right here that's got a hook on the end of it. That way I can grab it because it's kind of hard to grab that spring in there and uh, this gives you something to hold on to. So kind of, if I get in the way of the camera, I do apologize, I'll try not to, but I, this is pretty hard to pull this. So you gotta pull that puppy to relieve the tension. There you go, get the belt off, and that's all there is to that. All right. All right, so as you can see, you've got this uh, belt guard sticking up right here, and yeah, you might be able to get that through there, but you also might wind up cutting the belt on this old one, it doesn't really matter, but when you go to change it, it will. So just take this bolt out of the middle of the idler, makes things easier. Make sure you back it up with a wrench on the bottom. Yeah, I went ahead and dismounted the camera because I can't get in there to get the shot, so if it's a little shaky, I do apologize, but uh, for those of you who have your belt broken, I wanted to, to show you the pattern that the belt goes in. It starts here at one belt, shoots all the way across to the other side, and then it kind of zigzags coming back. I don't know if you can see it, zigzag there around the idler and then up to the motor and then back right there. So it's straight across the back and it zigzags across the front and then it goes to the motor from here. That's it. Hopefully that'll give you an idea. Yeah, I did want to show you one thing real quick. Uh, this spring right here. I know it's a little bit dark. Where it hooks up to the deck is real tight. And um, what happened to this one was is the belt actually fell off. And see where this spring hooks up right here. Let me show you the other side. Okay, here's the other side. And what happened is, is right here, you probably can't see it, but there's a part of the deck right here that's kind of holding that back right there. This idler had actually slipped past that, and this could happen to you. It, it was an, it, the, the deck must have shook a lot, and it, it shook right past there. Well, the point of this is this spring is under a lot of tension, and it's hard as hell to get back on there. So let me show you the other side again. Anyway, so what I had to do here is um, I couldn't pull it hard enough to get, to get it back on here. So take a, I took a strap and I tied it to the bumper of a vehicle or the frame, whatever, and then it's like a ratchet strap and I ratcheted it up this way. That way you can hook it back around there. Okay, unless you're strong enough to pull it 
you, you know, I, I could pull it past there, but I couldn't have any control over it, you know, to get it around that hook right there. So if you pull it with a strap, you don't got to strain yourself and it works fine. All right, got the new belt there. I'll post the uh, part number in the description along with any other relevant information and just feed it through. Remember, it was straight across the back to this first pulley right here. And then just zigzag it back in through. It's pretty self-explanatory because the pulleys are grooved and the idlers are kind of flat, so that's always going to hit the, the back side of the belt anyway. So around this idler, back through there, just like that. Let me tighten this back down. working. Alright, pull the idler. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Pretty simple job, right? Let me put the belt guards back on and we're done. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed my video. If you liked it, click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.